Well, good morning. Good morning. Good morning and good morning. This is um, Prophet West. This is Prophet West, Brother West, coming to you um, this morning, um, 9 14 a.m. Um, Eastern Time here in Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, temperature 79 degrees. I want to greet you in the name of the Lord. This is Brother West. And um, hope you slept well last night. If you didn't, God can and God can and God will make it better. And so it doesn't matter how bad it was last night. Weeping may didn't do it for a night. But joy comes in the morning. Keep trusting in God and he will see you through. Uh, the word that I want to, I do have a direct word. God bless you. God bless you. And I actually, actually I want to say a prayer too. But the, but the word is, the word is now, now, now many of you, many of you, um, today you're antsy. And that's something that you want to do right now. You want to do it right now. You want to do it right now. But be patient. Take your time. Don't rush. Take your time. And the thing about it, if it's worth having, it's worth waiting for. If it's worth having, if it's, it's worth waiting for, even with ministry, uh, callings, and what God gives each believer, the Bible says, teaches, teaching, wait on teaching, preaching, wait on preaching. There are steps and there are guidelines to get to your destination. You cannot, you cannot uh, go to sleep a, a, a blunder and wake up a wonder. It takes time. You got to go through some changes. You got to be rejected. You got to be knocked down. You got to fail sometime. You got to be hurt. You got to be all those things in the process of getting to that place of being successful. And so you're going to be knocked down many times. But every, every successful person has a determination in them that says, I will not quit. I will not give up. I will not throw in the towel. I'm going to keep fighting. I'm going to keep believing until it happens. And so this is the place that God wants you to be. He wants you to be steadfast, unmovable, and always abounding in the work of the Lord. Because, because you know without a shadow of a doubt that your labor, what you work for, what you believed in, what you put in the ground are for God. It's not in vain. For the Bible says, all things work together for good to them that are love God and are the call. And so if you love God, things are working together. The good and the bad because you are called. God called you. You are called out one that should show forth the praises of him who brought you out of darkness into his marvelous light. So wait, I say, and be of good courage. And for he shall strengthen your heart and so you're feeling and you're getting acid it's a feeling it's a feeling let that feeling subside and control that feeling and wait control those moves and wait for your appointed time that god will give you the clearance for to land amen let's pray father god in the name of jesus give them the ability give them the strength give them the power to wait to wait on you to trust you in the process even though, even though things are going on, left, right, emotions and all that, but they're not going to get con control and carve in the emotions. They're not going to allow what they see and, and, the, and what's around them to control them. But instead, they're going to stand still and control the situation because the controller is in them. And his name is Jesus. His name is El Shaddai. And God, give them peace, even in the midst of their storm. Give them joy unspeakable and full of glory god touch their heart this morning in the mighty name of jesus heal them bring them out of every situation that they're in give them the strength to mount up and mount over to let them know that greater is he that's in them than he that's in the world god bless you god bless you god bless you good morning good morning good morning i'm coming back i'm coming back but i feel god i feel god i feel i feel a newness i feel that god is sending a new blessing to you i feel that god is sending a new understanding to you i believe that god is is about to send you a strength that you never had before i i, I believe that god is going to send your power that you never had before i believe that god is going to send your miracle 
that you never had before. And that miracle, that miracle is in your mouth. Open up your mouth. Open up your mouth and begin to bless God. Don't wait till the battle is over. Shout now. Let God know. Praise him before it happened. Praise him before it takes place. Amen. God bless you. Have a good morning.